Okay, here we go. Another fast and easy recipe here. This is scallop potatoes, okay? Now, all you need is potatoes and onion and milk and roux. You have to have roux. If you're not cooking with roux, you're not cooking. You know, you can use cornstarch, but it's not the same. All right, there's the milk. I heated it up on the oven, and there's the roux. Roux is made with butter and flour or margarine and flour or oil and flour. It doesn't matter. What I do is I make up a big batch and then I put it in little containers and I freeze it. <laughs> this stuff will last forever. Okay, so there we go. The milk is, uh, was bo uh, boiling. I added the roux. Now I'm going to put it back on the stove. This is very important. If you're going to use a hot liquid, you have to have a cold roux. If you're going to use a hot roux, let's say you just made roux and you, and you have a, it's hot, then you use a cold liquid. It has to be hot cold or cold hot. It can't be both. If you try to put hot roux into a hot uh, liquid, you're just going to end up with lumps. Forget it. It's not going to work. All right. So anyway, make your roux up ahead. Put it in the freezer. What I did was I t took out a chunk and then I chopped it up real small. You don't have to chop it, but it just, uh, there's a lot less stirring involved if you do chop it. Okay, now the milk is going back on the stove. The milk has to boil. That's what cooks the roux. Um, and it also thickens the, the liquid, whatever you're using. All right, here you go. Here's some French cut onions. Uh, that's one and a half uh, medium size onions. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, choppy, choppy. Okay. All right. Hurry up. Let's go. God damn it, what's taking you so long? Come on, me love you long time. Don't, I don't like to cut them that way. I, I like to cut them this way. These are, this is called a French cut. If you cut them the other way, you end up at all kinds of different sizes. I just don't like it. You know, they, they, they look much better when they're French cut. Okay, here comes the potatoes. Um, now, of course, you got to have a, a, you know, a cooking uh, pan big enough. What, what you're going to do is you're going to pour the, the milk that's thickened into the potatoes and the onion. All right. Then you're going to put it in the oven and you're going to let it bake. Those potatoes are raw. They're not pre-cooked. They're absolutely raw. Um, all right. Those are going to go into the pan. When you get a nice thick layer of potatoes, then start throwing in your onions. Uh, you know, if you have something big that you can mix it all in, you don't need to, to do all that. You know, just throw it all in something big and mix it and then put it into your pan, whatever kind of pan you're using. All right, there we go. The, you know, to put the layers in, that just helps you when you mix it. That's all it does. All right, now here's the milk. Now, if you notice, it's really thick. This is thicker than, you know, a sauce. It's a lot thicker than a sauce. But you want it thick. Now, you know, I used to use heavy cream in this recipe. The heavy cream is really nice. You don't even have to thicken heavy cream. All you do is you cut the potatoes, the onions, and you pour the heavy cream in. But, you know, like I said before, I'm getting a little too fat. So, I, you know, I don't need no stinking heavy cream. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, instead, I substitute the heavy cream with thickened milk. Um, and it works. Okay, now we want to season the milk. You don't want to season the potatoes. You want to season the milk because it's a lot easier to distribute the seasoning if it's in the liquid. You know, if you season the potatoes, now you got to start mixing them and you might not get everything mixed in there right. So it's easier just to, uh, to season the milk and then pour the milk over, over the uh, potatoes. Okay, there goes some pepper. This is a very simple recipe. There's nothing to it. Uh, there's pepper, um, salt, and I like to use a little bit of chicken base, but you don't, you don't need it. You don't have to, especially if you're using heavy cream, you don't need the chicken base. But like I said, I like to put a little bit of chicken base in, just gives it a little bit more flavor, you know. Um, all right, here we go. There it is. One little, you know, what's that, a teaspoon and a half? something like that. 
the milk, I would say that's maybe a quart, a quart of milk. All right, teaspoon and a half of uh, chicken base. That might be two teaspoons. You know, every chicken base is different, you know. They're all different. So, you know, just use your own taste. You got to taste everything as you're going. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. We're going to pour it over the potatoes, and it goes into a 325-degree oven. Now, it might take an hour or an hour and a half. You know, the potatoes are raw. Don't forget. So it's going to take you a while to cook this. But, you know, just be patient because, man, this is worth waiting for. I got to tell you. This stuff is top of the line right here. And very simple. Okay, there you go. Mix in the milk. Um, you know, I'm going to take a spoon here and mix it a little bit. Then I'm going to pour the rest of the milk on there, and it goes right into the oven. Here we go. Mix it up. Oh, man, this is good stuff. This is really good with baked ham. Whoo! Oh, my goodness. All right, listen. You might be able to find this somewhere else. But you're not going to find this any better than this right here. Now, I'll see you later. I got to eat.